Hello, YouTube, boxing friends, and everyone else. Uh, I want to talk about the hurricane that just went through uh, Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, it hit home for me. You should be able to see by this shirt. Uh, we are the Carolinas. We are Carolina born and bred, both north and south. If you sit and you listen to me often, you hear when I refer to my mama that she grew up in the mountains of North Carolina. And <clears throat> so what's going on with this hurricane is sickening to me, the aftermath of it. You've had people volunteer with helicopters go in and try to get people off of the roofs of their homes. And you've had a Democrat governor, yeah, I'm making it political because it's these sons of bitches, these very people whom have created the awful situation that those people are in. governor and other Democrat municipalities and when you've had Republican elected officials or Republican elected leaders in areas the deep local state which we do have a deep local state has been barring overriding these mayors and these council people and these commissioners and stopping helicopters from coming in and helping these people and evacuating them. And I believe the reason may be is because they have nowhere to take these people because the Federal Emergency Management Administration is out of money. And if you would like to know why, uh, it is because in September of 2022, uh, the President's Biden's press secretary, uh, along with Harris, uh, Kamala Harris, ha is uh, put forth a plan where they depleted our FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Administration, and there's no money to give hurricane victims and no money to uh, help in the repairs and things of that uh, nature. I don't know about you, but before I would spend, you know, an extra whatever a month, if I'm living up in high mountains, on a high mountain range, uh, flood insurance, if I'm not near any rivers or tributaries, is the last thing I would purchase. So most of these people have no, no insurance to cover uh, the disaster that's happened to them. And that is exactly why FEMA was created in the first place. Folks, your government is so corrupt right now, we can't even have a uh, administration from within government that can even help us in times of disaster. That's how bad it's gotten. They have unloaded billions upon billions of dollars to the Ukraine to the tune of something like $150,000 per Ukrainian citizen, probably way more than that. Uh, if you add up the, uh, the population of the Ukraine, it may be into the hundreds and hundreds of thousands that's been dumped there. All this aid that's been dumped there. Uh, and nothing for U.S. citizens. A promise the other day, right after it happened, of a $750 check. Are you kidding me? While they 
depleted all the funds in the system that was supposed to house these people, help these people rebuild, repair the roads, repair the electric lines, all these different things. And especially in these rural areas. But they chose to give all the money to illegal aliens. They have depleted the U.S. Treasury. They have inflated the U.S. dollar. They have done this through theft and other corrupt practices, bribes, RICO stuff out the yin-yang. Uh, and they've done this for many years. And these things went on right up underneath Trump because the very agencies that were sworn to uphold him as the chief of the country turned against him while he was even in office. This system, I don't believe, can be fixed, folks. Uh, I don't believe there's no fixing to it. I believe it's got to be literally torn down and something else uh, in, installed that will adhere 100% to our constitutional rule of law. You, do not li you are not supposed to live in a democracy if you live in the United States. It was never meant to be a democracy. It was meant to be a republic of freedom, liberty, and laws. There is no freedom in democracy other than the ruling class. Democracies have never made it. Uh, just like communist governments always fail, democracies have always fallen. So you need to start even when people you like start talking about democracy, you need to be calling their asses out on it. Uh, we need to be a rule of law country where the law applies the same to every class and every uh, person. And that is unattainable just to let you know. But that goal needs to be strived for every minute of every day in your government and my government. This is just pure sickening what's going on. Uh, in the Carolinas and I believe portions of uh, Georgia to these mountain people. And these mountain people are not like the rest of us that live out and about in many different states and many different places. These mountain folk, the normal average everyday folk whom come in all colors. Uh, they are whites, Indians, blacks, uh, and a plethora of other people that live in these mountain regions. And they typically do not go out and harm other people. Uh, they typically tend their own. They typically are very private people and just want to be left alone. Uh, there is a lot of poverty in these mountainous regions. Uh, you can't go and build a great big huge plant on the side of a mountain, so it's very rural. And it's hard to farm. It's hard to for a lot of things. Uh, but for the uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to have and that director of uh, the Homeland Security director that oversees it, they all three need to be in jail. It's time, you know, it's time everybody's, well, you don't go after these people. Maybe we should have been, go maybe the Democrats through their corruption are showing the rest of us what we need to actually do uh, come 2025. And 2025 should be known as the federal prison year because the, the government needs to be cleaned out from the bottom to the local city manager the local public works director all the way up 
uh, local city lawyers all the way up to and including the presidency of the United States. All of this needs to stop. And if it does not, America will be gone in a few years anyway. It is already gone. The facts here are simply that we just refuse to accept it. So it is time to regroup, uh, make America great again. And the only way to make America great again is to get the psychopaths contained and away from the general population of the society.